a lame Force Awakens pun right here. Time for Toy Pizza. Today we're covering the die-cast exclusive Disney Store Star Wars Collectibles Elite Series. To the surprise of many, the Disney Store had their very own Force Awakens stuff that wasn't available anywhere else. These die-cast six or seven inch figures, we're impressed. We had to make a call to our buddy, Tris Kreuss, and uh, he sent them right along to us, like a good boy. Yeah, he is great, and uh... He's not, a, he's not that great. I gotta say, man, for a Disney Store exclusive, these are pretty awesome. And I want to hear, because you're playing them for the first time. Sure. I've been playing them for like weeks now, but I want to I wanna hear what you had to say about them. So when I heard about them, I sort of assumed diecast meant there would maybe be diecast feet and maybe a torso and that's about it. But these things have a ton of diecast in them. Yeah, it's the legs and the chest and even the arms. Automatically, I was very impressed. And the design of the characters like Phasma and like the Stormtrooper really lend itself well to the weight that you would yeah. sort of expect and assume uh, these to have. That's the thing that I had to say about the Elite Series is that Stormtrooper and Phasma, it works incredibly well. The, the shine on all the armor and again, like you said, the weight. Yeah. That's what I love about this. And not to mention, the Stormtrooper comes with two guns right on the side piece right here. Yep. That is so cool. And they're incredibly articulated too. It, that's what I love about it. And especially the Stormtrooper, because of his armor, it's not that uh, restricting. Kylo Ren though, you see on his uh, torso, the sleeves Kind of prohibit uh, his arms moving too much without you know sacrificing some of the paint over there but you know again the weight is awesome the minus for the articulation on the arms and the chest but a plus for the cape because the cape even though it's like a soft plastic it actually holds them up for some dynamic poses which is really cool yeah look i i think that uh you know there are certain limitations to using die cast that we're seeing in these figures but it's to be expected you know one paint does not adhere to metal with the same durability that it does to plastic. Yeah. So naturally over time, you're gonna get paint chips, you're gonna uh, have articulation that kind of rubs off. It's to be expected. Now I grew up with, you know, Chogo Keen and of that that generation of all the amazing import die cast Japanese toys. And the paint rubs and the damage that kind of, uh, the wear and tear adds to the character, yeah. I think, of all this. So, you know, I can live with that. I think also the other limitation is you do not get as dynamic a range of motion out of the articulation with die cast. You know, they're obviously, uh, you have a lot of structural issues because yeah. the articulation is where the function is structurally weakest. Mm -hmm. So you can't have these crazy triple joints and things like that. It's going to make breakage happen all that more often. And that's why I said that the Kylo Ren with this cape, you actually kind of get a little more room to uh, pose them in you know dynamic ways. Uh, but I feel like, you know, like you mentioned how limited uh, die-cast figures are, for Kylo Ren they just kind of gave him the one pose from the trailer with his hand out and his uh, lightsaber being displayed and his open hand on his uh, left. I believe that was his pose in Girls. I gotta say that the combination for Kylo Ren to have a die-cast, you know, body, but with the vinyl for his cape and his hood, I love that so much. I, I'm really into these figures. This is really cool. Now, I don't collect six or seven inch figures anymore. I'm really totally focused on three and three quarter inch like Knights of the Slice. But these I'm, I'm really into. The only thing I would suggest, right, is they really should only be focusing on robots and characters in armor. Yeah. I don't think we've seen the yeah. Daisy figure. And Finn. We've seen Finn. It just... Yeah, the the form doesn't really benefit human characters. Yeah, again, like Ky Kylo Ren, they had to mask most of his uh, die cast parts with this vinyl cape because it just doesn't really make sense. I mean, maybe for the boost, I mean that's pretty cool. But again, the stormtrooper shines because of this, and that's why I am just in a desperate search for Phasma. It looks so good, so good. And the stormtroopers, I want to line up six or seven of them, and you know they're also affordable. Like they're on par with your your Hasbro Black, Black Series. Series. And I honestly choose this Stormtrooper over a Black Series Stormtrooper. I, I think I would too. I, you know, the sort of feel and the, the perception of the price is, is so much greater with this. You know, you yeah. really feel like there's much more value uh, in this. I, look, I think it's a great gimmick that really helps differentiate itself from all the other product that's out there. And I would definitely buy more of these. You know, there's a, a very weird robot character that I've seen. Name escapes me, but there's an image on screen. 
I hope they make him as this die cast. That would be great. Hell, I think I would even take a C-3PO with red arm. Dude, if they did C-3PO and Archer D2, uh, even a BB-8, I mean, I don't know how big he would be, but that would be awesome. Yeah. You know how uh, C-3PO gets that red arm in Force Awakens? No. He, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's the matter? We can't hear that? <laughs> But wait, that's not all. Giveaway, haha, -ha, you thought the episode was over. It's not because we're giving away Rilo Ken Elite Series diecast. It's actually Kylo Ren, but we'll give him away too. I always do that. <laughs> Use the hashtag SWToyPizza, Star Wars Toy Pizza. Use the hashtag on any social media, hint, we love Instagram, mm -hmm. and then you're entered to win. Yeah, if you want to win this Kylo Ren, all you gotta do is just hashtag a picture of Kylo Ren or any Star Wars thing that you want to share, SW Toy Pizza, and we'll be looking for the hashtag, and one lucky person will win this Elite Series Inbox. Kylo Ren, coming to you. Picture of Kylo Ren, or if you're Asian, a picture of your toes. Preferably painted, maybe a red or a blue, I don't know, surprise me. Hashtag SW Toy Pizza. The only thing left to say is, Pizza, pizza out. out.